Hi everyone, Keyless Entry here. Uh, today I'm going to try to pick this uh, Stanley lock. Uh, I bought this quite a while back and um, I've been organising my lock lab because it's an absolute mess and found this, had all dust all over it and everything like that so I um, decided to pull it out and give it a good old pick. Um, it is quite heavy. Um, so let's have a look, it's the security 24-7 professional grade hardened steel security lock uh, body width is 60 mil shackle clearance is one inch so um, this is the S828 160 or CD 8820 um, yeah pretty pretty cool lock um, I know Stanley make tools here in Australia probably around the world um, but I've never seen a padlock made by Stanley and um, this was months ago, probably last year. I saw this and just had to have it because, uh, yeah, I just I've, I've got Stanley tools, but never a lock. And this is a beefy one too. Um, as you can see, the back here. I'll just try to zoom in for you, and it's got interesting feature here. It's got two ball bearings on the one side here, and a single one on this side. Um, so yeah, I'll see if I can get it picked, and then we will try to give it a bit of a gut. Um, I do always leave a description of the whole lock in the de in the description. So um, let's get one of these keys out. So they are sort of snapped in there like that. And open it up. So it's got a um, what I believe to be a Schlage style keyway, and this thing pops like no tomorrow um, <laughs> so if you just whoosh I just love that sound whoosh it's got quite a strong um, sprung core um, and it's got a little spinner plate on the bottom there as you can see so yeah, that's the I think that's the S SC4 because it's a six pinner there's your bitting um, so some lows down the front, nice little gatekeeper there on one, with a whole variety of highs down the back. Um, that's probably your key bitting right there. So what do we got? Double eight six four five four, eight eight six four five four. Yep, looks good to me. Alrighty, this actually is a beast of a lot. I'm gonna get my scales out, which I also found. And um, just see how much this thing weighs. So that's in ounces. So 29.6 ounces or 841 grams, which is pretty heavy. You could, don't want to drop that on your toe. Um, and yes, my chair is still creaking. Don't know how to fix that, but oh well. So. I'm going to put this into the vice and uh, try to give it a pick. It's going to have to probably balance it in there a little bit because uh, <laughs> it might tip over, but oh, nah, I should be alright, I reckon. Just get it in there nice and tight like that. And oh, yeah, she works still. Alright, so tensioner. Let's see if this one fits here from down under monkey perfectly. And we'll go, the way I pick legs is I'll use a, like a long hook, deep hook, high reach hook. So we'll go with the uh, lockout buster and the B shoot. So these two picks basically, cool. All right, let's get um, some angle here. Focus a little bit, get the light correct. There we go. So, yeah, this spinner plate's a bit of a, <laughs> like a anti-drill protection or for dust covering. I'm not too sure. Maybe both, but you probably fit the drill in there. Don't know. Um, yep. Alrighty. So we'll try to cut this after as well. 
Um, not quite at the right angle. There we go. Alrighty, so let's try to give it a peek. Okay, sort of a different angle here. So I'm just using light, light tension. I do struggle with the Schlage keyways sometimes. With certain picks, and there's that spinner coming coming into play. <laughs> okay, we'll just start from the front because I can't get down the back at the moment. So nothing on one, two, three. Okay, got a binder right there. I think that's number four. I think I've got that set. Uh, five bond. Let's go to the back. Felt some binders coming back through the stack. No six is spray. That's five is spray or not. Okay, we've got one there. Okay, got a bit of movement on the core there. Tension. Okay, so we're under one now. Nothing there. Up two feels bindy. Wow. Yeah, two is definitely bindy. There we go, a bit more movement on the core. One. Okay, there's some movement off one, but I'm not sure if I've overset him on Because that was a low one down the front, but anyways. We'll keep going. Might switch to the B shoe because I'm having a bit of trouble getting under these pins with the uh, lockout buster. It's a little bit high. This spin is really good. <laughs> All right, okay, let's get under the pins here. Let's see what we have. A binder back there. A bit stuck in there. Let me go past that pin. Let off a bit of tension. So I can glide under him, maybe. Hopefully. Okay, I think I just set that pin. So I've got a bit of movement on the core. I think that was six. Okay, five is down the bottom. Okay, five. I think I've set four already. Uh, three just slipped off last time. I believe for set two, nothing on two there. Um, might have over set one earlier, not too sure. He's biting from the bottom. Okay, I believe that, that was a set. He's got very strong spring tension, so I'm just. 
that's another binding pin there. Hmm. Interesting. down the back do feel set don't feel any security drivers in here yeah that pin is really really low I'm having trouble setting it for some reason or something or just stuck on a taper or something but it's not really doing much okay let's reset and try again what am i at 11 minutes wow that's a, <laughs> that's a long time all right doesn't matter okay so start from the back this time let's do that let's try that let's make sure we get on the pins yep We might go back to the lockout buster. I felt a little bit more comfortable with that. So loosening up all tension, getting past the pins, over tensioning to fill the last pin, which is there, and reapplying slight tension. Spring in six. Okay, we've got a binder right there. Just gone past him. Okay. There's that binder there. Okay, got plenty of movement on the core that time. There's another binder here. Got some more movement cool. One, okay, it feels like one is bonding. <clears throat> okay, I believe I just set one maybe. I slipped off it. Slipped off it. Yeah, I might try the uh Issue for that one. A little bit hard to get in under, there, under him. Five 
אחד, פיגור מאיזה מקור. very bond and letting go of all tension and it's just it doesn't want to move okay there's three Ooh. all right just touched five and we got an open wow so, some of these uh, pins didn't even give me a click just sort of fell into place and uh, went all stiff <laughs> so so to speak. Um, all right, let's try to tear this thing apart. All right, so I noticed there's a little Allen grub screw here. And um, there's nothing down the shackle hole. Let me just uh, resume here, get the lighting right. So there's nothing down the shackle hole. So I think we'll have to undo this little grub screw here. screw down this side because there's a little um, sorry there's a little thing there so hopefully that'll undo once I take the shackle out I'll just zoom in a bit so about that all right oh that's a pretty long pin there all right so let's do, get these out of the way now hopefully I won't need them again but I'll keep them handy so now, now I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. So we've got ball bearing and a spring and another ball bearing. And another ball bearing on this side. Ah, oh, okay, we do need them again. <laughs> very sturdy it's um definitely steel I don't think it's brass and just hardened steel security lock so yeah it's hardened steel wow that will explain the weight so we got like a tape um like a counter sunk sort of screw there with a uh, washer with some teeth on it Alrighty, oh wow. So we've got a Schlage style kick in there, with an actuator. Um, there's, the, there's part of the base plate, there's your spinner. That's the base plate there. So that sits, I guess, in here like that. Hmm, cool. Alrighty, I wonder if we can get this other ball bearing out um, somehow. There we go, so it's got three ball bearings, two on one side and one on the other, really interesting. And that's the body in there, you can see that, I'll get a torch to shine in there. It's basically pretty, it is a brand new lock so it's full of grease and uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, 
but yeah, interesting uh, setup. You can see in the shackle hole there, there's just nothing there, and that Allen screw was down that hole there. Alrighty, so this thing is molybdenum, and uh, it is an 11 mil. Wow. Beast. <laughs> Definitely a beast. All right, let me get all this crap out of the way. And um, need to take this backing off. I don't remember which way the actuator is, so the high side to the left, okay. So I suppose I can just rewatch the video, but <laughs> it's just good practice to remember where everything is located. And we have, I'll put it in there, and a little spring, hopefully. There we go. Alright, now we can get the key. Shim. Excuse the long video, I will put um, opening, start pick times, opening times, all of that jazz in the comments section. Um, I'm having trouble getting this shimmy for some reason. It's pretty tight in there. I don't think I didn't feel any security drivers at all, so maybe I'll be safe just making a bridge over that threading. Yeah, what type? What size file we need? Okay, the standard. Five seventy style. Keep things facing me slightly. Yes, we should be okay. Alright, and we are. Oh wow, look at that. This is a brand new lock, but it's quite, quite dirty. <laughs> um, there's your pins. Your plug, rather, and your pins. And, uh, oh, they don't appear to be heavily tapered or anything. And that's how it had to be picked. So, two... Bit of a gatekeeper for three, and then you've got some high lifts down the back. Not a bad little lock, I'd say. Um, yeah, haven't seen too many Stanley locks. Um, I haven't seen them for sale in Australia. One, two. This is gonna need some cleaning out. This is a uh, pretty dirty. Oh, it's got some. Um, what looks like counter milling on the core. Not sure if you can pick that up. Um, see each chamber has got that count counter milling, like it's um, actually enlarged. Almost like an undercut, but not. I think I don't think it is like an undercut, but almost does feel undercut but yeah it's definitely milled a little bit larger towards the top than the rest of it huh I was not expecting that that's a pretty cool little feature that's that makes it hard to pick definitely even the standard pins um, wasn't sure what sort of quality to, quality to expect with this lock but I'm quite surprised um, about how good it actually is. Um, I'm trying to figure out the front and the back here. Okay, here we go. This is the front here. Got some tweezers. Oh wow, so we've got a serrated driver in one. That's why I thought I probably overset it. Um, Two is it standard? Three is a standard. It's a slightly longer driver in there for some reason. C 
six it is double serrated. Huh. Definitely, I'd definitely recommend these locks. <laughs> awesome, awesome locks. Did not expect that. Whoa. Oh, you gotta see this one here. It's like a mini T pin on each side. And a different type of spring. No, yeah, it is. It's a different type of spring. So it's a steel spring. All these are brass or, or copper. And you've got a steel spring with this sort of driver. Wow. That's a surprising uh, little lock in there. Surprising internals. So as you can see there, um, I'll just try to adjust this because the lighting is kind of weird. So all uh, standard keepings. As you can see, number one is a single serrated. This one here, uh, number four driver, you can see it's not tapered, it's actually like straight cut. Um, give you a side profile of it. Yep, there you go. So you can see that. So that would definitely get into that counter milling, give you some problems. Standard in five and a double serrated in six. Very interesting lock indeed. Huh. Not expect that. Um, yeah, I'll have fun putting this back together now. <laughs> oh, well, then here, oh, here we got the actuator. A little bit that came out of it. Um, this looks like a anti bypass or limiter. Which for that is somewhere. But anyway, all right, guys. Uh, that's all I got for you today. Um, Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.